Hey everyone, it's me, Sydney. So today I'm going to be doing the 10 tips to starting a YouTube channel or 10 tips to having a YouTube channel. This is a new series that I'm going to be doing. There's going to be tons of videos in this series. So if you guys are interested in like YouTube or you are a YouTuber, you want to become one, this is what I am going to give you advice on and kind of things that have worked for me. I know that I only have 13k right now, but I feel like I've put in a lot of work to my channel and I feel like you know, that's 13,000 people that have clicked the subscribe button and I'm grateful for every single one. So because you guys have requested this, I figured, you know, even though I'm not that big, I share my tips with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, turn on the post notifications, become part of the notification squad, and if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, any of those things, I would love to have you guys part of the social media fam and everything because I'm constantly on Snapchat, I'm constantly on Instagram, I'm constantly on here, and um, I feel like it's a really good way to get to interact with you guys, and if you guys have any questions, I would love to answer them through my social media. So. With that being said, let's get started with this video. So tip number one is to pick a name for your channel that represents you or your brand the way that you want to be represented. If you want to, you know, do a gaming channel, then you could do your first name, gaming, whatever name that you like. So when I started out my channel, I started YouTube four years ago. and. At the time I was doing beauty and fashion and I loved it and so my name was Fashion Barbie 16 because 16 is my lucky number and it just seemed to work out then because that's what I was going for. I don't regret having that name whatsoever but now because I'm very into fitness and I want to document my health journey, it's Fit Sid. So it matches my like Instagram which is fit.sid and then um, I just try to like keep it, I try to keep other things with it but obviously not all my social media is the same. But um, when you're doing that, keep all your social media the same, do your first and last name if you want to, and pick something that represents whatever you would like to be putting forward with your content. Tip number two, this is something that goes for anything in life, but I feel like it's super important. If you want to start a channel, just start. Don't say, I'm going to do it tomorrow, or don't say, oh, I'm going to wait until I have like a good camera and good editing software, just start because the moment you start posting, you're going to start having people follow you, interact with you, you're going to see how you grow and evolve and obviously put 110% into your effort, that, like into your videos that you can, but at the same time we all start somewhere. If you look back at my old cringy videos, they are cringy and they're bad, but you know, I had a tablet, I started and look where I am now. You're never going to end up doing it if you don't just start. Tip number three is you don't need any fancy equipment. You don't need a fancy editing software, lighting, background, anything like that. As long as you find something simple, like you go in front of your window and get like natural lighting, then you're okay. You don't need a Canon Rebel DSLR, like anything like that. You don't need anything besides your iPhone, natural lighting, and iMovie, the app. Um, if you have like a computer, then they have plenty of editing softwares out there that you can use that are free. And I'm going to have an entire video, by the way, about how I edit my videos, tips for that, and also cameras that I recommend. I know a lot of people don't want to break the bank, and you also want to see if you're actually truly interested in posting this content, because if you spend $1,000 on a camera, and then you realize, oh, I don't really like videos, then you just wasted $1,000. So wait a little bit until you want to purchase something like that. The back of your iPhone is key for your videos, because if you turn it, it gives you, I know some, I think iPhone 6s and up does 4K, which is crazy because I only film in like 1080p and 4K is like a lot higher quality than even that. Tip number four is to project your voice and stay on topic with whatever you are talking about if you don't want to edit out like half of your rambling nonsense. Just make sure that you're talking to the camera, you're facing the camera, because if you're talking over here, I'm yelling more now, but if you're turning your face like this, they can't hear you the way that they can when you're talking this way. And just be confident in front of the camera. And sometimes it takes time to practice, but eventually you'll be super confident in front of it. Like now I can walk into a grocery store and I can vlog and be like, hey guys. <laughs> Another thing is you can put a sticky note on the viewfinder because I have this problem all the time where I am guilty of looking into the viewfinder and not making eye contact. But the biggest thing you want to do is project your voice, be confident and give eye contact so people know that you're actually looking at them and you're not 
focused on the viewfinder and yourself. Tip number five, be willing to put time and energy and effort into your videos. If you have a super, super busy schedule and you're like, I'm doing this sport, I'm, you know, a collegiate, whatever, um, I'm trying to become a model or I, you know, have a lot of things going on in my life, realize that you have to prioritize these things. If you want YouTube to be something that you enjoy, but you also have you know, you put your time and effort into, you do good editing, film, you vlog. It takes time to vlog. Sometimes I have, when I'm doing days where I vlog, I know that I have a little bit extra like room in my schedule to take time in the car to talk like in between things and I have to schedule it in, which sounds so weird, but when you're vlogging, it's like your daily life, but you still have to, you know, take extra time that day because you have to pull out your camera, do those things, which takes you know, extra effort. The other thing is with editing, if you're gonna take your time on it, you wanna watch it a few times over and sometimes you have two hours worth of footage. And for me personally, I sometimes have two hours worth of me talking and I have to hear myself talk over and over and over again and cut little things out because I'm just continuously talking. Uploading also takes time. So if you're the person that takes your laptop everywhere, you have to schedule in time to have your videos just upload. Number six, be consistent. If you are going to be uploading, you're gonna be taking the time. I upload three times a week. With that being said, I sometimes, every once in a while, will miss a day, but for the most part, I'm pretty consistent. But that's because I pre-figure out what I'm gonna do for my videos, and then I, I'll have like a day where I film and edit and try to get out the best content I possibly can because I don't wanna put out like crappy content, but I also want to get things out and be consistent so you guys don't forget about me. Tip number seven is to reply back to every single comment, and this is to engage with the people that are taking the time to comment on your videos, taking the time to like them, and they're subscribed to you. And with this being said, you will eventually get hate, and sometimes you'll get it like a lot earlier than some people do. Um, I remember my first hate comment literally made me want to cry, but you have to take their comments and their criticism, put it a positive spin on it if you're going to reply back to those types of comments. I know some people delete them, but personally for me, if I get a hate comment, I put a positive spin on it. You don't ever want to feed into negativity. So tip number eight is to do collaborations and make YouTube friends. First, my biggest tip is to have a YouTube friend, and I actually met her, well, we didn't meet for a really long time. She's been my YouTube friend for like four years now and then we ended up in the same state so now we are literally really close real friends but making YouTube friends and doing collaborations is key. If you want to grow your channel and everything, collaborate. When you do collaboration videos, it's going to help you gain a following and share your following with others. Get your channel out there and have people recognize you because they're like, oh I saw Fit Sid's name on this person's channel or I heard them, you know, being spoken about on someone else's video. And it's a great way to just get your name out there and if you're starting out and you're kind of small what you can do is message people that have the same amount of subscribers as you and it will really 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 help the best way to do it is either a collab video that you guys do the same thing or something that like matches up or you meet up in person and you collaborate depending on if you have the opportunity to do that and then another thing is you just want to find people that have similar content to you and then you just message them, reach out to them, and hopefully they will want to collaborate with you. Tip number nine is to post popular videos when you're starting out, and if you wanna gain views, then you post a popular video. For example, DIYs, morning routines, night routines, room tours, tags, those types of videos get a ton of views. Tip number 10, which is the last one in this video, is have fun, enjoy it, and just embrace the experience. This is the one thing that I can't stress enough because so many people try to make YouTube a job and just make money off of it. YouTube is something that is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I genuinely enjoyed it. I went to VidCon and I met so many amazing people, specifically, Two of my friends, Alexandra and Adiel, both of those girls are amazing. We went to VidCon and um, it was just a great experience. And YouTube is something that you want to be passionate about. People can tell when you don't enjoy your videos. And if you feel like you want to start off with gaming and then you come to find out you don't like it, change it because at the end of the day, it's what makes you happy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you guys have any advice you guys want to share in the comments down below, let's, you know, create a little bit of a thread down there so people can read the advice and learn from it. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and I'm gonna be replying back to every single comment. Um, in this series, I'm gonna have a ton of different videos. If you guys have any video requests though, I would love to hear them just because I wanna know what you guys are interested in and I also wanna provide content that you guys actually wanna see in this series. 
So with that being said, I already am planning on doing one all about how I edit my videos, how I do my thumbnails, the lighting equipment that I use, all of those types of things, and then how to gain subscribers and how to gain views. So those are the videos that I kind of have planned already, but um, if you guys have any requests or things that you want me to cover like in those videos, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have watched all the way through to this point, thank you guys for watching, and if you guys are new to the Fit Fam, then feel free to hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so that then you guys can see when the next video like this comes out or any of my other videos. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video, and I love you guys all so much. Hope to see you guys soon.